Even before COVID and rising fuel prices, getting around or making trips to the bank were difficult for some veterans. To help minimize commuting and modernize banking services, the Department of Veterans Affairs has partnered with the Association of Military Banks of America to help veterans make banking services easier. Joining us this morning to talk more about this is Charles Tapp II, a Chief Financial Officer with the VA. Good morning, sir. How are you? Good morning. Thank you for having me on today. Definitely. Thanks for coming. So, so first of all, what is the Veterans Benefits Banking Program? Just talk about what it does. Yes. So uh, back in December of 2019, VA partnered with AMBA to establish a consortium of banks and credit unions that understood the military financial needs uh, of, of military members, veterans, and their families. And they also created uh, an options for no cost and low cost banking accounts so that our veterans would be able to have access to the financial tools and resources to create long term wealth. Now, the thing that's unique about these accounts also is that there may be some veterans who may have issues from a credit history perspective or had issues from a legal perspective that precludes them from getting traditional bank accounts. Well, these banks and credit unions that are participating in this program are committed to working with those veterans as well so they can have access again to creating financial wealth and, and the financial well-being uh, through a traditional bank account. Yeah, and you talked about this just there, but what was the what was the need? What was the impetus to create it? Yeah, the need here is really to protect veterans. What we found is that over time is that when we had natural disasters and veterans were displaced or where there were instances of fraud uh, where veterans' resources were stolen, it was difficult to get checks to those veterans quickly or to replace checks that may have been lost or stolen. Um, so we found that, again, with electronic payments, Number one, it's safer for veterans. They get their money on time, every time, every month. And if there's instances of fraud specifically, we're able to reimburse veterans and then investigate, unlike when you have a check where you have to go and investigate and potentially then get a check, or with prepaid cards, there may be a 45-day investigation before funds are returned. And when veterans need their funds, we want to make sure that VA is there for them to help facilitate that. So where can veterans talk to the VA if they have any questions about this? If they need to reach out to us directly, they can reach out to us via 1-800-827-1000. And that's our national call center. And our agents are prepared to answer any questions and certainly direct our veterans uh, to resources online. Great. Anything else veterans need to know about the program? Absolutely. If they want to find out more information, you can go online to veteransbenefitsbanking.org. And via that website, you can find out more information about the program in general and also get information about the 40 participating banks and credit unions who will be able to help you sign up for the accounts at their unique uh, financial institutions. Charles Tapp, the second with the VA. Thank you so much, sir. We appreciate you. Thank you for having me.